This video will provide a brief introduction to the assessment student experience. Our assessments can be taken in any browsers on any device with internet access. Assessments contain many question types including multiple choice, numeric entry, ranking, equation entry, and sorting. As students work through these problems, they may encounter questions where they find they need a little help to get started. Each question comes with a hint built into it. By clicking on the hint button, students will open up a panel on the right side of their assignment with a carefully written hint to help them start thinking along the correct lines. The hint can be expanded to make it easier to read, or it can be closed when the student is finished with it and ready to try answering the question. Once an answer is selected, if the assignment is set to homework mode, the student can then check their work to see whether it was correct. If the student's attempt is wrong, then they are provided with immediate feedback to help address the specific mistake which was made. The feedback panel can also be expanded or closed. Once a question has been checked, the status of that question will now show as in progress in the question list on the left hand side. The score for that question will update each time that an attempt is made. In addition, you can also see the number of attempts made on that question. When the score for an individual question changes, the overall assignment score will also change to reflect what score the student would have had on that assignment with no further work. Within homework mode, a student may attempt the question as many times as needed to get it correct. It's possible that this may take several tries for more difficult questions and each time they will be given targeted feedback to address the mistakes made. Each attempt is listed in the top right corner. Users may review their previous attempts or the original unanswered question by clicking on the drop down menu. When students get the question correct, there is immediate clear feedback that they have done so. They are told that they have solved the question and how many attempts it took. They can then choose whether or not to view the solution for a detailed explanation as to why that is the correct answer. When students encounter a question which they cannot solve despite many attempts, it is sometimes more helpful to give up on that question in order to see the solution. This can allow them to learn from their mistakes and move forward with the assignment rather than remain stuck once they've hit that wall. When students choose the give up option, they are presented with a new window to make sure that they fully understand their choice. It is explained that giving up will cost them points in the assignment. They can choose either to go back and try again or to give up so they can see the solution. If they do choose to give up, then they can now review the question and the solution so as to better their understanding of how to solve similar problems in the future. Users may go back to previous questions or jump forward to any other question by clicking on that question in the questions list. The left and right arrows at the top of the assignment may also be used to navigate through the questions. When reviewing previously attempted questions, the questions list on the left clearly shows whether that question is in progress, has been solved, or if the user gave up on that question. We will also show the score earned so far for each question. At the top of the assignment, the current overall assignment score is shown. As the questions are solved, the overall score updates to show the user what the assignment score would be if they were to stop at that point. By clicking on the info button, users can see available from and due dates, how many total points are possible, and the grading policies for the assignment. If a user wants to maximize their screen space for the assignment itself, they can minimize the left-hand panel by clicking on the menu button. When an assignment is taken in test mode, users cannot check their answers during the assignment, but they can save their answers as they proceed. Once an answer is chosen, users can save the answer by clicking on the Save Answer button. Alternatively, if the user switches to another question after selecting an answer, then the selected answer is automatically saved. The question status now changes to complete to indicate that this question now has a saved answer. Users may return to previously answered questions to review their answers and may change those answers at any point. When a user has finished with an assignment in test mode, they can submit their assignment to be graded by clicking on the Submit All Questions button. Answers will not be submitted to be graded for credit until either this button is clicked or the due date has passed. Clicking this button results in a pop-up dialog to verify that the user does not want to submit their answers. Users may opt to return to the assignment to revise their answers if they are not ready to submit them. 
If the user has finished revising their answers, then they can choose to submit the final draft of their answers to be graded. Once answers are submitted, users can see their score for each question in the overall assignment score. They can navigate to individual questions, and for any that were incorrect, users can see what the correct answer was to that question. Thank you.